guys, welcome back to my channel. I haven't vlogged in a while and I'm really excited for today because today should be a really fun day. It is 3.31 p.m. I figured I'll get ready and chat with you guys, give you guys a little life update, tell you where I've been since I have been a little MIA on social media recently. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do a really natural everyday makeup. I do have two new products, so when I get to it, I will tell you guys exactly what I'm using, but everything else I'll just link down below so I'm not boring you guys. It's pretty much the stuff I've been using for the last like two months or even longer than that, like before quarantine, I really haven't switched it up. So yeah, I'm going in with some foundation right now. I did just shower, so I don't have any makeup on, but yeah, where have I been? Oh my God. So let's see, where should I start from? Let's start from June. <laughs> June and July are the busiest months for us at work. It is when we're getting our capital allocation done. So we are usually very, very, very busy. I'm talking like working 15 hours plus days, working till like 10 p.m., like pretty much on call. Like we'll get messages in our group chat and they're like, okay, can you sign on now? So June and July are super busy at work. And then as July ended, towards the end of July and beginning of August, my cousin ended up visiting us from California, which she usually comes every year, but she hasn't come in the last two years. So we were just so ecstatic. We were super, super excited. She was here for two weeks and Pretty much for entire two weeks, I didn't do anything other than spend time with her and it was so lovely, especially because it like broke my quarantine routine and in quarantine, I haven't been like seeing anyone other than like one friend and even that we like barely see each other. We try to limit it as much as possible. So it was just so nice to have somebody at home with us just like hanging out. I felt like a really close friend was just having a sleepover with me for two weeks and it was just so nice. So my cousin from California visited. And then my cousin also lives here. There's another cousin that I have that lives here in Houston. So her, my cousin from Cali, my little sister, my older sister, and us, and me, we all had like pretty much sleepovers every single day. So that was super, super nice. And so I was MIA for those two weeks. After those two weeks of family time, I got really busy with work again. Like I mentioned, work has just been so extremely busy and stressful. So... Not only was it busy, but we were announced a 25% reduction. Um, so we were having a massive layoff and a reorg. So that was really stressful. Like pretty much all of us, like my entire team, all we did was like <laughs> gossip and speculate what we thought was going to happen the entire month. It was honestly so stressful. If any of you guys have been going through any layoffs, I know so many oil and gas companies especially have been restructuring their business and I know so many companies have been doing layoffs. So if you guys are going through that, my heart and my prayers are with you. I really hope you guys make it through. I know how stressful it can be, especially if like you're the only breadwinner in the family. That is extremely stressful. So yeah, that was going on. And honestly, my head was just not in the right place. I was just exhausted from working and then stress on top of that. Actually to the point where one of the days I got such bad anxiety that I ended up feeling like I was gonna throw up. I worked the entire day without basically eating. I had like one breakfast or like one little snack. It was probably a fruit with a tahini on it. And I worked till from 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. So it was like 12 hours. And I was so stressed about the layoffs that I honestly thought I was going to vomit and, and like pass out. So I crashed at like 8 and then I woke up at like 6 a.m. the next morning. And pretty much that's all I've been doing. I've been working till like almost 8 p.m. every day on and off. Like I sign off at 6 and then I sign back on at 8. And then I've been signing back on in the morning. So yeah, between work, layoffs, and then cousin visiting, I've just... My mind has been pretty much occupied. Like I have zero time to think about anything else. Okay, what else? Also, I've been pretty uninspired to make any content only because I feel like I'm so busy and I really haven't been dressing up at all. So I've been thinking like, are other people even dressing up? Like I feel kind of silly showing you guys a bunch of cute outfits for spring and fall and I don't want it to just be useless. Like I want you guys to benefit from the content that I'm creating. So that's pretty much why I've also taken a step back from shooting content. I recently, just last week, started getting right back into it because I'm excited for fall. I feel like that's a really good place to start creating new type of content. Um, before that, I just felt like everything was just repetitive and just like unrealistic. But I know fall fashion is also pretty unrealistic right now, especially because it's not even fall. Especially with the weather being extremely hot here in Houston. It's been like 
in the hundreds, like three digits, but I figured I might as well just start now because a lot of the bloggers usually start early because we can share with you guys things that are still in stock. Um, whereas if I wait a little bit, then all the things that I share with you guys will probably be out of stock. Like the boots that I share every year go out of stock so quickly. They're from Nordstrom and I think they are actually part of the Nordstrom sale, but I could not be bothered with that sale. First of all, you have to dig so much and honestly, I feel like a lot of the things are just a bunch of basics and I really didn't have time for that. So I apologize. I wasn't able to share some of my favorites this year. I'm super, super excited to see my friend today. I told you guys I haven't seen her in seven months and we used to see each other almost four times a week because my office and her apartment were like literally a street apart. But now that I don't go into the office anymore since I've been working from home, she also moved. We literally have not been able to see each other and also because of COVID. Um, and throughout quarantine, she got pregnant. And so I think she's around five or six months now. So I'm so, so excited to see her. This would be a really good, fun time. So now that I have my foundation and concealer on, I'm gonna move in to some bronzer. Another thing that's been keeping me pretty busy, actually my sisters and I, is we were planning Ismael's first birthday party. So if you guys don't know, my sister has a now one-year-old and a four-year-old. Isa turns four on September 26th and Ismael turned one on September, I think 12, uh, don't kill me. I hope my sister's not watching this, but yeah. So it's his birthday and my sister was planning a like really cute wild one birthday party and we were really excited about it. So we were like getting signs made and cookies made and um, cakes made and it was actually planned for this Sunday since it's long weekend Labor Day. And um, yeah, we were really excited. We got a bunch of things put together, but unfortunately she had to cancel. Um, but unfortunately she had to cancel due to a passing um, amongst her in-laws, which is totally understandable. But yeah, that's also been one of the things we've been busy with, but it's now, I think she postponed it. I think she postponed it till next week. I don't know. Obviously she's not focused on rescheduling the party. She's pretty much um, just like kind of with her in-laws and supporting them and stuff like that. So. That's also one of the things we've been busy with, which we're really excited for because Ismail is the cutest little baby, baby ever. He's so independent. He is nothing like Isa, and I feel like he would have really, really enjoyed a birthday party. So we're still planning it. We're still getting things together. We're just not like in a rush and stressed out anymore because now we can just have another week to figure things out. So that has been another thing that's been keeping me busy. So now I'm going in with a little bit of blush. And then after this, I'm going to show you guys the new product that I've been using. My cousin from California showed it to me and I really love it. I don't think it's perfect for everyone. I will say if you have like dry skin, it will make you look super, super dry. But um, I like it because it really makes um, my under eyes like pop. So this is Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder from Maybelline. And I'm in the shade Light Fair or Fair Light. Well, actually, this is really not my shade, but I got a lighter shade, so it makes my under eye look super, super bright. And she uses this with a wet beauty blender, and oh my god, it looks so beautiful. It looks phenomenal. It looks like super smooth and like snatched. But I don't have a beauty blender. I need to go get one. So I've just been using my foundation brush. It honestly doesn't do the same like effect. I feel like hers just looks so incredibly beautiful. But since I don't have a beauty blender, I'm going to just use this and... Hopefully less. So I'm just gonna put it like right under my eye, kind of like in a V shape or like a triangle and then bring it up right here. So I don't know if you guys can tell on camera. So I'm gonna go in with a little more. It does make you feel super powdery though. Like I do feel like really dry. So I try not to use this on anywhere else on my face, just kind of underneath my eye. So now that my face is done, I'm going to quickly do my eyes and my lips and then I'm going to fast forward this and then I'll come back to you guys. that I wanted to share with you guys that is pretty new in my 
makeup collection is this Huda Beauty Legit Lashes Mascara. Oh my god, you guys, this mascara is really, really good. I got this after I seen my cousin use it on her story. So it's two-ended. It has a volume side and a curl and a lengthen side. So I first use the volume side and I do a coat and then I'll go in and do the other eye. Then I'll come back to here when it dries up a little bit and then I'll follow it up with the curl and lengthen side. And I really feel like it makes my lashes look like really dramatic. I feel like it really does make my lashes look much thicker and longer than like a normal mascara. So I'm gonna quickly do my lashes and then I'll show you guys what they look like afterwards. So this is my mascara done. It's a bit sloppy. I have like literally mascara like down here. I have it on top of my eyelids. I do my mascara super sloppy, but this, these are what the lashes look like. I think they look really, really good. So if you are in the market for a new mascara, I definitely try this one out. So the only thing left is now my lip, which I thought I would do with you guys here on my camera because a lot of you guys are always interested in the lip combo. I am using the lip liner Sweet Tea by Morphe. And I'm going to just outline my lip. It is a pretty dark lip liner. But I think especially going into fall, it's going to be so perfect and beautiful. And I feel like a lot of this is probably blurry because I can hear my camera trying to focus. So I hope this entire video is not blurry. My friends are texting and they're trying to figure out what we should do for dinner tonight. And so the girl who's hosting at her house, she said, what would you guys like to eat? And I said, anything, whatever is easier for you. And my friend who's pregnant, who I haven't seen in seven months said, everything. And then I said, I'm okay with no food too. And she said, I'm not okay with no food. I eat every 30 minutes. I'm an animal. <laughs> she is seriously so funny. Oh my God, that's why I love her. Like if you're funny, we can be the best of friends. I love funny people. That's freaking hilarious. And then my other friend goes, okay, what do you want to eat, animal? <laughs> These girls are so crazy, I swear. Okay, the lipstick I'm using is Mob It Over by Revlon. I've showed you guys this a couple times as well. And I'm going to make a confession and tell you guys something, but don't judge me. This lipstick is so stinking old. It's like freaking two years old. I know it's probably really bad for my lips, but... I'm still using it and I don't know if they still sell it. The last time I mentioned that somebody told me like, oh my God, it's still in stores. I've seen it recently, but I haven't made a trip out to the stores in like months. So I'm just being really, really lazy and scraping it out with my finger and just like applying it that way. I know, so gross. But you know, not all bloggers have their shit together and that's me. Like I'm not afraid to show you guys the real deal. I don't have 50 lipsticks lying around. Okay, and that's pretty much it. That is my simple, quick makeup routine. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed catching up with me. I'm gonna try to take you guys along with me later to my friend's house. I'll definitely try to feel out the vibe and see if they're in the mood to be on camera. If they are, I will introduce you because they are some amazing people and I think you guys are really gonna like them. So yeah, I'll see you guys in a little bit. So I just got back home and I realized I didn't show you guys what I wore today. So it's actually pretty late. So I hope the lighting isn't too bad. 
but I pretty much wore this really casual laid back outfit at my friend's house. I wore these trousers that are seriously so comfortable. They're from H&M and I think they're either $12 or $16. I'll link them down below so you guys can check them out. They're linen and they're like a really good loose fit. And we chilled at our house for like over six hours and these were seriously so comfortable. They're high rise but they're like super super stretchy so they weren't um, uncomfortable at all. And then I have on this long sleeve top that I rave about all the time to everyone. It's the best quality, super soft and um, opaque long sleeve top. It's a little like see-through but not as see-through as other white tops. I mean obviously it's white is always a little see-through but this is pretty opaque. So I got this from Amazon. I'll link that down below so if you guys want to check it out. I swear by these basic tops. They're just amazing. And then I also threw on this little knit cardigan, which I love. This is from Amazon as well. I got this last year, but I just love it. It's like this oversized structured cardigan. It makes your outfit look super casual, but like not sloppy, if that makes any sense. It's like super structured. And then I have on these layered necklaces. That's actually like one entire necklace. And this is from ASOS, so I'll link that down below. I know they were out of stock last time. And then I know you guys are going to ask about this hijab, but unfortunately, hot hijab don't, doesn't sell these anymore. They said they were going to bring back a couple other colors in the fall, um, but right now they don't have these. So this was my outfit, and I just wore white sneakers with this. So yeah, if you guys are interested, I will have this entire outfit linked down below. So I'm going to end the vlog here. That's pretty much it for my day. It is a little past midnight actually. I'm going to wash up, pray, edit this vlog, and get it up for you guys tomorrow. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed coming with me along my day. I know it was a little kind of all over the place. It was pretty laid back, but I wanted it to be a slow introduction into kind of where I've been and give you guys a little update on my life. I also didn't get to vlog a lot at my friend's house just because their husbands were there so it was pretty awkward honestly <laughs> to like pull out my camera and like talk to it so i hope you guys enjoyed this and i'll see you guys in my next one bye